In our last vlog, we moored up at Cookham Lock. It was a stunning mooring and we made friends with the ducks. We stayed there for two nights and then set off for the rest of our journey back towards Shepparton. But firstly, stopping on the way. So it's a couple of days later. We um, moored up in a lovely little spot um, by Cookham Lock. Um, there's basically probably enough room for, well, there was us and two white boats. You can get five, five cruises. Right. Um, yeah, and you just go up and pay the lock keeper. So it's right sort of opposite Cliveden Estate. Yeah. Um, it's we, nice, though. Yeah, it's lovely. We went for a little explore. Um, there's a little cut that would have been the original Thames had some water, um, massive mansion there. It is big. And um, the lock keeper thought it was the um, first owner of Harrods, but it actually wasn't. It was a guy who um, tried to sort of bid for Harrods, but he was unsuccessful. Um, and I don't know if his late wife still lives in the property. Apparently then, so. Yeah, there were some people there, they were waving to us. So uh, yeah, that was quite nice. sent through, um, a couple more from John Wood, um, and he wants to know how far along the Thames towards Oxford could we travel without having to take our canopy down, um, and it's the whole stretch. All the way. All the way. We We've not, done the whole lot. Yeah, we didn't have to take our canopy down once. Um, if you try to go beyond Oxford, um, sort of Oxford town, um, then you would, well you might not even make Osney. it actually. Well no, you've only got Osney, you'd have Osney to take Bridge. it down for Osney Bridge, but then I don't know, you possibly might better put it back up and stay up. Right. But I'm not sure on the bridge heights further no. along. We've got them written down, but we didn't look. No, we only, we went as far as sort of Oxford town, if you like. So yeah, all the way along the Thames. Yeah, um, yeah just so sonning. Literally, um, both ways. So from Teddington Lock, all the way to Oxford, don't need to take your canopy down. No. Uh, John wanted to know if you are on the Grand Union and you're coming to the Thames to then travel to Oxford, do you need to take your radio license and test? So it depends which way you are travelling. If you're coming down the Grand Union towards Brentford um, and getting on the Thames there, then no, you don't need to. Um, but you said the other way... If you turn off and go up the Paddington Arm and go all the way to Limehouse and then get on the Thames to go Limehouse to Teddington, technically you will need a license or a pilot. So get on it Brentford yeah and then you've only got three four hour trip they phone ahead with your boat name to tell them that you're coming and they look out for you yeah so, that's so if it. you go that way then no you don't no. <laughs> <laughs> Shame I didn't capture that on camera. Literally, a goose just straight in front of the screen. Yeah. Bit almost took the phone out. Wow! <laughs> We've just been through Bolter's Lock. 
two more white boats were coming out a lot before we went in. We thought there might be a bit of a crash, but they did all right. They moved over, OK. It's very, very skinny getting in there. However, when uh, we then looked behind, one of them was across the river, bless them. Wedged. <laughs> I hope uh, they managed to get out. Yeah, he did it all right. today we're hoping because now the bank holiday is over that we'll mm. get a spot um, just it seems quite quiet on the river it's very so quiet today compared still, to the other day still school holiday hopefully um, we'll be lucky and we'll get our favorite spot <laughs> safely moored up at Windsor mm. on Bath's Island again. We made it. We made it. It's quiet. We're right by, well, it's lots of birds though, very loud birds. Mm. Um, right by the aeroplane and we popped into town, got a couple of bits that we needed and Richard bought me two friends. <laughs> she needed someone. Friend number one. Oh dear. <laughs> and this one had a name, you can hear the birds now. Mm. Freckles, friend number two. <laughs> so I've now got two friends. You can I'm, talk to them now. I'm not going to put real plants in them because I have not been very successful on the boat with real plants. Um, Poor plants. I have tried various plants and I killed them all. Yeah. Which is a bit of a shame. So have you got any hints or tips on what them. good plants grow for somebody that's not very good with plants on a boat? Then drop it in the comments because I'd really like to get some proper plants that won't just go because that's what happens to them no they're fine and then all of a sudden they just shed everything yeah they just literally. become twigs but yeah i don't quite know what happens no they're just like <laughs> no bad enough <laughs> yeah so baby said he's tea almost tea time for us mm, so I'm hungry <laughs> delivery like always give us a cheeky little thumbs up subscribe to us and ping the notification bell and we will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.